Good morning. Gonna make another video here since um, I got more stuff to talk about. Now this has to do with sports, but the business side of sports. And I'll decide what which channel to put it on. Anyways, it's become to my uh, awareness that uh, they're gonna charge large amounts of money for tickets to get into the uh, NBA Finals with the NBA Finals approaching with the Cleveland Cavaliers playing against the Golden State Warriors. Now, I've always said this, that sports has become big business. And um, it seems to me that these uh, people who make the tickets, they're going to charge a whole lot of money for fees for people to watch the games live. I mean, can you believe that? It's just surreal. Like one ticket could cost about five hundred, six hundred, a thousand dollars. That's enough money to uh, even buy something or even pay, put a more, put a put money down on a house or put mortgage money down on a house. Like seriously, why is it going to cost so much money to get just to watch a game? They did the same thing, charging a whole lot of money for this fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. I mean, that's a lot of money for one fight. And I, it's not going to be surprising to me that these people are going to, that the NBA Finals is going to cost more money. And speaking of which, NHL Stanley Cup Finals is going to be probably be more money too. Because we got Tampa Bay Lightning going against the, um, going against the Chicago Blackhawks. Now I would say, out of these two teams, the Chicago Blackhawks, uh, I think they're going to generate a whole lot more revenue than Tampa Bay because Chicago, I think, is a hockey. Chicago is a hockey town, along with the New York, New York City. Now, Tampa Bay is not really a hockey uh, city, along with Anaheim, the Anaheim Ducks. So I mean, hockey's not big in these two, Anaheim and Tampa Bay. Hockey is big in Chicago and New York. So I would say you probably have to raise prices for the tickets if to see the Chicago Blackhawks play. Now, but what's really going to generate revenue is the NBA Finals. Because you got LeBron James, who's a fan favorite. He's attracted, attracts a whole lot of fans. And a whole lot of fans in Cleveland. And Stephon Curry, who's the prime player, who's just beginning his career with the Golden State Warriors. And those two players really put on shows. So, I mean, I think they're going to raise the ticket value for those two teams if anybody wants to come by and watch them play. I mean, sports is a big business. Because, I mean, it's not just the players that make the money. It's the um, it's the TV networks that make the money because they're covering a whole lot of. Uh, they need to get their ad revenue and all these commercials that they show on their networks, and also they have to get sponsorships from these companies. They show their products on their networks. In other words, the media makes its money on ad revenue on ads, not just the game itself, televising the game. So, um, yeah, I got more to talk about. Just too numerous. There's too numerous, though, for this video. And that's it.